Hello, hello, it's your girl Lucy V here and we're back with another video. I hope you guys have all been well and I wanted to get another tutorial out for you. I've been super busy, so thank you so much for your patience there. As you can see, I do have a slightly different model. It is the same exact one that I've always used, but I hadn't updated my VTuber model since 2023. So all the tweaks over the years, I decided to finally learn how to export my model for VTubing myself. I'll be making another video on that. I found this super easy tool. I'm not using VC Face anymore. I'm using Waruto. So if the tracking's a little weird or buggy, please excuse that. I'm still kind of learning how Waruto works. If you have any tips or tricks on how Waruto works, feel free to drop them down in the comments. I'd be happy to like take your advice on that. But anyway, let's just jump right into the video. So going with the theme of Ask Lucy B, I did have a really good question on one of my recent videos. So on the toggles and textures video, I received a comment from Imanic Hyle Dress 2703. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. They said, So I'm trying to swap both the head and the body material, essentially six materials overall. Two at a time. I used the same method as in the video, but the head texture for each swap was overlaying each other in play mode. Well, that's a simple fix. And today I wanted to go over how to switch your face texture and body texture using Unity and Toggle. So let's just jump right into the video. Today, we'll be working on the model that we started with the fingernail video. I did put a new outfit on her just so we can better see the tattoos. And I'll go over the assets we'll be using. First, we'll be using the Vampire Makeup Pack by Lil Lulex. We'll also be using these tattoos. They're the same ones that I wear. And then we'll be using these freckles as well. And just this texture here that she's make up for the eyelashes only. So we'll also be using the leather jacket and the boots and the socks and tights from this outfit set by Mason Dark. We'll be using this undercover outfit by HB as well for the shorts and top. And then these free Y2K earrings as well as this Anka Aurora hair. I'll link these in the description in case you want to check them out and support the artist. So in order to toggle the different textures of the body, we're going to need to create separate textures for eye colors in Photoshop. So if you already know how to create textures in Photoshop, I'll go ahead and link a chapter down below. You can skip ahead if you already know how to do this. However, for people who are totally new to this, I definitely wanted to go over how to apply makeup and tattoos in Photoshop. So let's get started with that. So as I mentioned in previous videos, what you're going to want to do is find the face texture. So click on the face. Make sure you do not do the option down here. That's a mistake that a lot of people make is they mess around with the option and it will mess up your face expressions and the toggle won't work if you use the option material. We need to do the face material here. So let's find the face. We've already edited the face here, but we'll start from scratch on her default face. So you can sort of see how the process works. Save that to your computer, wherever you'll be able to find it. Once that's saved to your computer, open it up in the Photoshop version of your choice. Open up that image in Photoshop, or you can use what's called photop.com. That's a free Photoshop program. Or you could use a program called GIMP. It's a free and open source image manipulation software. If you already have the monthly subscription to Adobe and want to use Photoshop, go ahead and do that. I use a website called Pixlr, Pixlr Editor. And then we'll open the face texture that we saved onto our computer. With Pixlr always doing 409 sticks, you can always reduce the image size in Unity. All right, so let's go ahead and get the makeup and the freckles and the tattoos. Layer, add image as layer. So she currently has yellow eyes, but I want the option to change between yellow eyes and emerald eyes. And then I also want it to have freckles and no freckles. I hope that makes sense. All right, so let's hide the emerald eyes and keep the yellow. And then with the vampire makeup, it did actually come with makeup. So I'm going to put that underneath here too. Layer, add image as layer. All right, perfect. So now that we have the makeup applied, I also would like to import the eyelashes as well from the cheese makeup. So let's go ahead and put the black eyelashes on top here. So we'll put that under everything and then I'll erase everything here so we can get the black eyelashes coming through. 
So we're going to be erasing all of the brown here. One sec while I do that. All right, perfect. So let's clean it up a little bit. All right, now that we've done all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and color her eyebrows purple to match her hair. So I'll use the color swap tool to swap this brown eyebrow texture with the new purple texture. So color swap, we'll switch this color with say like a, like a deep purplish gray color there. And we'll just do the color swap now. All right, now for the freckles. So let's add that as a layer. Add image as layer, and let's find those freckles. Perfect, that's so cute. Okay, so now here's kind of where you have to wrap your head around how many textures that you would need. So we would like for her to have yellow eyes and no freckles and blue eyes and no freckles. And then we would also like yellow eyes with freckles and blue eyes with freckles. So that means we would need to save a total of four images, two for the different eye colors with freckles and two for the different eye colors without freckles. I hope that makes sense. So first we'll start with the yellow eyes with freckles. Save that to our computer. I'm just gonna name it yellow eyes freck. And then we'll do the blue eyes with freckles blue eyes freckles. What I'll do now is hide the freckles with this little visible eye tool here. So we'll do file save as blue no freckles and then we'll save the next one as yellow no freckles. All right now that we have the face options down let's go ahead and work on her tattoos. So the vampire makeup set actually came with a body texture. It's this one right here. So let's open that up and make a texture with the tattoos on it. Save that to our computer. And then we're done with this. Let's open a new one, 4096. Layer, add image as layer. And then we'll do the dark tattoos. Perfect. Save that to your computer. Perfect, and we are all done with Photoshop. Let's jump right back into Unity. All right, so I'm sure you're already aware all you need to do is go to the face material and drag the new color that you made over into the main color. Let me fix my model really quick so you can see. So all you really need to do is drag the new color into the main color here. What's easiest for me usually is to go to the materials folder for your model. So go into the materials. This case, we're using Liltune. And then here are all of her materials. I'm going to import all of the images that we just made together into the materials folder. It doesn't matter really where you put it in your project, but it's easiest for me to at least do it this way. Perfect. So right now her eyes are yellow and she has freckles. I'm just going to rename this freck yellow. And then what you would do is just duplicate it four times. So in this case, three times because we have four materials to work with. So I'll rename this Freck Blue. This one we will rename No Freck Yellow. And then this one we will rename No Freck Blue. Perfect. Okay, so Freck Yellow is what's on her face right now. What I like to do is drag it on there and just make sure that it's the right material. Then we'll do Freck Blue, drag it on her face. Then we'll put the new material in here. Click on Freck Blue and then there we go. So as you can see, you're still seeing yellow emissions through the eyes. We're going to need to fix that. So go down to your settings here and then do emissions. And then I'm just going to use the transparent image that came with the eye pack and put it in place for the emissions. And then make it glow more of a blue color. Perfect. Okay, wow, that's really pretty. Awesome. So we have freck yellow and we have freck blue. Now let's do no freckles yellow. Click on the material and the new texture in there. No freckles, perfect. Since the emission was already yellow, we are good there. And then we'll do no freckles blue. Drag that onto our face and then put the blue no freckles into the main color and then put the new material that you made into there and the emissions into there. 
Also making sure it's like that blue green color. Perfect. Now that we've made all of our materials, let's create a toggle for it. So what I like to do is write it on the face. You don't have to write the toggle on the face. You can write it wherever you'd like over here in your hierarchy, but I just write it on the face because it's less confusing that way. So add component toggle VRC Fury. Let's put on the material that we are going to use as the default. So let's drag that on. Perfect. And then we'll do custom face and eyes. Options, stay between worlds. Add action, flip book builder, options, use a slider, radial menu. And then since there's four different colors, we will do four pages. Material swap, plus sign down here, add action, material swap, add action, material swap, add action, material swap. Perfect. In this case, her face is her body, and that's the mesh that's going to change. So let's drag that over here into all of the pages. So the first one is freckle yellow. Let's put that in page one. Second one is freckle blue. Let's put that in the second one. Third one is no freckle yellow. Put that in there. And the fourth one is no freckle blue. Let's put that in there, and you should be good to go. So one error that people get confused with a lot with this is there's the slot. Make sure that it is your face slot, not the option slot. Um, otherwise, you won't see anything change when you do the material swap toggle. What the option is, is that inside of her head, she has like these little expressions that come out when you move your fingers in VR. All of these cute little expressions will come out and that's what that material is editing. Of course, we need to go through and make the options, switch these over to yellow and blue, but we'll do that at a later date. But yeah, making sure when you're writing the toggle, it is on the actual face, not the option. Got it? Okay. I know that confuses a lot of people and I get questions about it all the time. So making sure it's always on the face, not the option. So oh, you guys want to test it out and see if it works? Let's go. If you don't know how to emulate it in Unity, I'll drop Gesture Manager down in the description as well. So you have it. Well, let's go to Tools, Gesture Manager Emulator, Expressions, Custom, Face and Eyes. Perfect. Now you can decide what color eyes you want and whether you want freckles or no freckles. This also works with tattoos or makeup or lipstick or anything you want to toggle on and off with a face. So let's do the tattoos next, shall we? All right. So this will be a little bit easier because it's just tattoos and no tattoos. So let's go ahead and write one for that. Here is her default body. You can either do right click duplicate or what I like to do is click on the material and hold control on your keyboard. And then we will just name this. We'll just do tattoos. Perfect. All right. So we'll write it on the body. From the body here. And then add component toggle BRC Fury. We will do custom tattoos options. Let's say between worlds. Use a slider radial menu. And then add action, flipbook builder. Page one, material swap. And page two, material swap. Put the body in each of the renderers. And then we'll do Manuka body for the first one. And then tattoos for the second one. Okay, it looks like we did not put the new texture on the tattoo, so let's do that. We don't have to worry about emissions or anything with body textures, thankfully. Perfect. Awesome. So since she has no tattoos by default, let's put the no tattoos on. All right, let's test it and see if it works. Let's go. Expressions, custom. Tattoos. Perfect. Here, let's go ahead and take the jacket off too, just so you can see. They are applied. 
So now you can switch between materials on your body, whether you want to wear a different body makeup or tattoos, you can switch depending on how you'd like to look that day. And you are all done. You're good to go. Now you should have a better understanding on how to swap materials on your body for makeup, tattoos, eye color, things like that. As always, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. And let me know if you have any tips on how to get better tracking with Waruto or if there's any tips and tricks that I should know because I'm totally new at it. The next video is going to be about how to convert your VR chat avatar to work with Waruto in the method that I found worked best. Anyway, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to reading all of your comments down below. You take care and have a good rest of your day. Bye!